everyone, welcome to A plus BI. This channel is all about complex numbers and in this video we're going to be solving a system of equations with complex numbers. You're probably familiar with solving systems, linear systems, quadratic systems, so on and so forth with real numbers, but this is very similar. Okay, so we have z plus w equals 8 plus 6i and z over w equals 2 plus i. So when you divide a complex number by another complex number, you also get a complex number. It's kind of like the division can be expressed as multiplication. It's the inverse operation. Anyways, we'll get to that. I'll be presenting two solutions. And if you're new to complex numbers, go ahead and check out my lecture videos. I made a playlist of lecture videos. Uh, I think I have about nine videos that kind of go through the basics of complex numbers. And then I'm planning to make shorter videos on a very small topic, kind of like a bite-sized video. Okay? Let me know what you think. I mean, you have any suggestions, let me know, but don't make them too complex. Sometimes people make these very complicated ideas and I'm like, I don't even know how to do it. I got to learn and then hopefully present to you. Anyways, I talk too much, you know that hopefully, and but I'll continue with the work. And here's the first method. Now I'm thinking about this like I am given z over w. So why not try to get that from the first equation? Guess what? If you divide both sides by w, you're going to get that. But you're going to get something else, but that's easy to handle. So we're going to get z plus w over w equals 8 plus 6i over w. Awesome. Right hand side doesn't look that awesome, but left hand side will look awesome in a little bit. Let's go ahead and simplify it. I can separate these. Z over W plus W over W, which is what? One, right? So this is gonna become Z over W plus one equals eight plus six I over W. We still have two variables, right? We didn't do substitution. We just divided both sides by something. Well, can W be zero? What do you think? It can't be because we were given the quotient, right? Okay. And if W was zero, the Z would be eight plus six I. And obviously that would not work. You can always test it out. But we do know Z over W is equal to two plus I. And that's nice. Let's go ahead and substitute two plus I for this. What is two plus I plus one? How do you add complex numbers? You add the real parts and the imaginary parts. Wait a minute, what is the real and imaginary parts? Let's quickly talk about it. This is the real part, this is the imaginary part of a number. Let's say Z can be written as follows and real and imaginary parts, make sense? So two plus I plus one is three plus I. And then I can go ahead and switch these two. So W becomes eight plus six I over three plus I. I gotta do a division and then but you can't just divide like reals. You know how we had, if you had a problem like five divided into 23, it goes four times, so on and so forth. We can do it with real numbers easily. We can even do it with polynomials, but with complex numbers, you can't just divide, I think, right? Correct me if I'm wrong, but you can use the conjugate because the conjugate is an awesome concept, conjugacy. And then if you multiply in the numerator, eight times three is 24 minus eight i plus 18 i minus six i squared, divided by nine plus one. Remember, when you multiply to conjugate z and z bar, you always get a real number, and that is the real squared, real part squared plus the imaginary part squared. So it's gonna be nine plus one, which is 10. Is that good? Now, what is negative six i squared? It's plus six because i squared is negative one. 24 plus six is going to be 30. And this is going to be 30 plus 10i divided by 10, which is 3 plus i. Wait a minute. I divide something by 3 plus i and I get 3 plus i. How is that possible? Let me tell you why. So we divided 8 plus 6i by 3 plus i. Notice that 9, 8 plus 6i can be written as 9 plus 6i minus 1 over 3 plus i. And then this is 3 squared. This is 2 times 3 times i. And this is i squared. You get the idea? Yes, the numerator actually here is three plus i squared. So it's 
So when you divide it by 3 plus i, 3 plus i cancels out, and you end up with 3 plus i again. Makes sense? That's why it worked that way. But wait a minute, what is z? Where does z come from? Okay, let's use the first equation. It's easier. z plus w is 8 plus 6i. z plus w is 8 plus 6i. And I do know that w is equal to 3 plus i. So if w is 3 plus i subtracted from 8 plus 6i, z becomes 5 plus 5i. How convenient. You can take out the 5 and or just leave it like that. This is fine. So z is 5 plus 5i, five five, w is 3 plus i, and we got the solution as an ordered pair. Make sense? Okay, I hope it does, but don't go away because we're still going to do the second method. And you're going to let me know which method you like better, right? And if you know of a third way to do this, please let me know. I'm, right now I'm thinking about like, could we square both sides? I'm not sure if that's going to help. But if you do know a third way to do it, please let me know. I'm curious. So we have z over w equals 2 plus i and z plus w equals 8 plus 6i. We're going to solve the system with the second method. What is the second method? Second method uses cross multiplication because why not? Now let's go ahead and multiply both sides by w. You're going to get z equals w times 2 plus i. And then this z here, I'm going to replace with w times 2 plus i plus w times what? 1. Okay. Equals 8 plus 6i because there's no number. I just put a 1 there as a placeholder. You see, sometimes 0 is a placeholder, sometimes 1. And now, what do, what do we do next? Factor. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry about this notation, but this is not Lambert's W function. Don't get confused because we've just done a video on that. Uh, this is just a complex number. So we can factor out a W, and that gives us 2 plus I plus 1, which is 3 plus I. Do you remember that from first method? Yes, you should. And now we ba we're back to square 1. And remember, this is 3 plus I squared, right? Isn't it? You can check it out if you want. Divided by 3 plus i, and the 3 plus i is going to cancel out, and we're going to end up with w equals 3 plus i. Now, obviously, there is two ways to find z. You can go ahead and multiply w by 2 plus i, or just use the sum. We used the sum before, so let's do something more interesting, and let's just use this. z is equal to w times 2 plus i, because that's what we got by cross multiplying. I was going to say cross cancelling, but cross multiplying. And I replace w with 3 plus i and multiply that by 2 plus i. Distribute and simplify 6 plus negative 1, which is 5. 3i plus 2i is 5i. And yay, we got the same answer, of course, right? And this brings us to the end of this video. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, be safe. Take care and bye-bye.